Adobe's cross-platform video editor Premiere Rush or Project Rush makes big promises, but how does it stack up against the competition and is it the best mobile video editor around? Here's our Adobe Rush review with everything you need to know. Hey, it's Justin Brownlee from Primal Video where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, then make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Adobe Premiere Rush is the newly released and much hyped cross-platform video editing app from Adobe. It was originally codenamed Project Rush and it promises a seamless editing experience to edit your videos down across multiple devices, including things like Windows, Mac, iPhone, iPad, all of that at launch and Android coming in the near future. But how does Adobe Rush actually stack up against some pretty stiff competition out there, especially with solid options on Mac and PC like Final Cut, Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Premiere Pro. And there's also some killer apps on iOS and Android like KineMaster, LumaFusion and PowerDirector. So in this review, we're gonna run through my thoughts after putting the new Adobe Premiere Rush video editor through its paces and see how it compares to existing competitors and just how well the cross-platform features work and whether it's really the best video editing app for iPhone and Android right now. And let me know in the comments, have you tried Rush yet? And what are your thoughts so far? And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm also going to share three tips to help you edit faster on Rush. And these tips are also going to work if you're using other software as well. So first off, what is it and how does it compare to Adobe's other software like their Clips app, like Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Premiere Pro. So the Clips app is a super basic video editing app that's been out for quite a while now. It's something that we really haven't recommended because there are much better options out there because the features in it were so limited. You could really just trim the top of a clip trim the end of a clip and not do too much more. There's, there was some filters and some really super basic editing, but that's all it was really designed for, just trimming down your videos and getting them out onto your social platforms quick. Adobe Premiere Elements is a cross-platform video editing application, pretty much aimed for beginners through to intermediate. It sits below their top Adobe Premiere Pro editing app, which is again, aimed for intermediates through to advanced and professionals. So really between those three, Adobe Rush fits in between the Clips app, the super basic editing app and Adobe Premiere Elements. But in some regards, it's actually a far better option than Adobe Premiere Elements. And depending on the videos you're creating, it may even be a better option for you than the full on Adobe Premiere Pro. Or it can be something that you bring in with your workflow to work alongside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So that's really where Rush fits in regards to Adobe's ecosystem and, and their other software offerings as well. So looking broader than just Adobe's ecosystem, how this compares to other video editing apps out there, I would say the closest thing to it would be iMovie in regards to simplicity, how the editing is actually done. But obviously this is now a cross-platform, cross-device equivalent. If anything, it's a lot more powerful than iMovie in some regards, but it maybe doesn't have all the features and things that iMovie does. So now let's take a look at some of the main features inside of Adobe Premiere Rush and what you can actually do in it. Well, it does support multiple tracks of video and audio layers. So just like more professional software, you can actually stack up your layers, meaning you can have one video layer, which might be yourself presenting to camera like this, and then you can layer your B-roll or your overlay footage on top of that. Now that's something that most very basic video editing software or apps don't have. So having that already in this just makes it so much more powerful, giving you so much more creative control over your edits. They also make it so easy to import your footage. There is a huge range of supported file types and files from a large range of cameras that are supported that will work straight out of the box in Adobe Premiere Rush. So whether you're using your phone to capture content, whether you're using a GoPro, a DSLR, mirrorless, there is a good chance that your camera is going to be supported right now. Now, if you are using the mobile app, which again, at this point is iOS only, hopefully Android is coming really, really soon, but you also have the ability to record direct from your phone's camera and save it directly into your timeline. There's also a pro mode, which enables a heap more advanced features, things like being able to change the frame rate, adjust and lock the exposure. So that's your shutter speed and your ISO, a heap of really advanced features that normally you would have had to go to an app like Filmic Pro to be able to lock down those settings to get the best result out of your phone's camera. You can also enable things like slow motion in there as well, all from within the one app. There's also a heap of built-in filters and presets and things when it comes to color grading your edit down. You can also customize up each of them with a heap of control to really dial in that look that you're after. 
It's also super easy to add in titles and animated titles into your edits as well. There's a heap of presets there and a lot of them are really customizable. So what you'll find is that pretty much all of the core video editing functionality that you need that you'd be used to seeing in things like iMovie and even the things that you would use all the time in Final Cut and Premiere, all the important stuff is here. So you get that level of creative control over your edits from whatever device that you're using. And that's probably the biggest feature here that we have touched on a couple of times is that this is cross-platform compatible, meaning that you could start this edit on your phone and then everything gets backed up to the Adobe Cloud and then you can open it up on your Mac or on your PC and the same timeline is there. All your footage is there. You can then save it out from either one of those devices, make changes on either one, and it is updated across all of them. That is huge. There is nothing else that comes close to editing cross-platform like this. Another huge feature here is the ability to reformat the videos that you're creating. So you can actually choose whether you wanna create a widescreen, create a square, create a portrait video, or even create multiple versions of each. So you could start your video as a widescreen video, and then you could repurpose it maybe over to something like Instagram Stories or IGTV and convert it to portrait, literally with a click of a button, and then just go through and line everything up and reframe everything the way that you'd like it. Now, in regards to actually editing in Rush, it is super, super simple. You can literally click on a clip, you get the handles that will appear on either side of the clip, and you can just slide them in and out to adjust the length of the clip or to trim a clip down. If you wanna pick up a clip and move it around, it is literally click and drag or tap and drag to reposition. But what I really, really like about the editing process in Rush is that they've kind of ripped off the magnetic timeline from Final Cut and from iMovie, meaning that as you stack up your video layers and lay video tracks on top of each other, they're actually all tied together and synced together. So if you you want to move a stack of video clips then you can just click the bottom one and move it around and all the clips that are tied to it or on the layers above it go with it so this is so awesome to be able to pick up and move things around and keep everything in sync there is no other mobile app that lets you do this in the way that this does and really to do it so simply Another really awesome feature of Adobe Premiere Rush is that you can transfer your Rush projects, whether you've started them on your desktop, your laptop, or on your phone, you can transfer them and upgrade them into Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you have a license for Adobe Premiere Pro, you can finish off all of your Rush videos and take them to the next level with all the extra features and things that are inside Adobe Premiere Pro directly from the projects that you started in Rush. Meaning if you just wanna start an editing project on your phone or on your iPad, you can transfer it and open it up on Premiere Pro and finish it off in there. I think the last really, really big feature is just how powerful this actually is. We've dropped in a heap of 4K footage, we've dropped in some crazy GoPro footage, we've mixed frame rates in the timelines, and playback across all devices has been seamless. Across older iPhones, newer iPhones, across Macs and across PC, everything just works really, really well. And then when you actually go to export or to share your video files out, you've got a heap of presets in there as well to make it really, really easy to get content out fast. So you've got presets in there for YouTube, for Facebook, for Instagram. But the most surprising thing to me out of all of this was how fast the exports happen. It's crazy fast. Even on a mobile device, even on an iPhone, the export times were super, super fast. Now, those aren't all the features, but they are probably the biggest, most game-changing features that you've got inside of Adobe Premiere Rush. But that's not to say that there's nothing wrong with it or nothing that's missing just yet. We originally have had a few crashes of it, especially on the iPhone side, but obviously they've been rolling out a heap of updates to it, which has fixed a lot of the issues that we were having. So it is still new. So if it's a little buggy, then yeah, I guess we can kind of expect that. But I think the biggest feature that it is missing right now is the ability to copy and paste your effects across multiple clips or, or apply a color grade across multiple clips. So right now, if you want to apply a color grade, it's on an individual clip by clip basis. You've got to select the clip, apply the effect or the grade that you want, and then you've got to do the same thing for all the following clips. Now, yes, there is kind of a little workaround in that you could save those settings as a preset, but you've still got to manually apply that preset then to all of the clips in your timeline that you want it to apply to. But having the ability to be able to apply an effect to an entire video track or video layer, or to be able to select all of your clips and apply an effect to all of those selected clips would be a game-changing feature. And the other thing that's not really a negative, but definitely something that you want to be aware of is obviously if you're moving files or moving projects between your iPhone and between your Mac or between your iPhone and between your desktop, 
they're going to need to be transferred over the internet, meaning that if you're just on a data plan, you could burn through a heap of data. So you would wanna make sure that you're on Wi-Fi when that sync is happening. And yes, if you do have slow internet, that could take some time to get your video files from your phone over to your computer. But overall, the way that that works and in all our testing, it's just been amazing to go out and shoot some stuff, come back and to be able to edit it on the computer and it's already there in the timeline or to be able to start an edit on your phone and then finish it off on your computer. It's just awesome how seamless it actually is. So now let's look at the pricing. How much does it actually cost you to get and use Adobe Premiere Rush? Well, there is a free starter plan, which gives you three exports and it gives you two gigabytes of cloud storage and also access to the Adobe fonts and Adobe portfolio as well. But you can buy a license to Adobe Premiere Rush for $9.99 US per month. And that gives you access to unlimited exports and also 100 gig of cloud storage. Now, if you've already got an Adobe subscription, then Premiere Rush is included with the Premiere Pro subscription, but it's also part of the Adobe Creative Cloud All Apps plan as well. So if you've either got Premiere Pro or you've got all the apps, then you'll have access to Rush there as well. So wrapping all this up, who would we recommend this for and what sort of use cases or workflows would be best suited to Adobe Rush? Well, I really think it's designed for people that are creating content and editing content and releasing content on the go. If you are someone that wants to be able to shoot, edit and upload directly from your phone, I right now think there's probably no easier, better app to do it. I think even the fact that you've got access to those pro camera settings directly in the Rush app definitely makes it a great use case or a great solution for creating things like professional Instagram stories and then quickly editing the 15 second clips together and then pushing them straight out from there. I also think there's a great use case here for someone who wants to start some basic editing, maybe while they're on the go, while you're sitting on the train or sitting on the bus or whatever it is, you can start your edit down in Adobe Premiere Rush from your iPad, from your iPhone, and then later transfer it and open up that exact project and all that work that you've done, open it up in Adobe Premiere Pro for further editing and for finishing on there with all those advanced tools. Now, who would I not recommend this for? I would say if you're looking for something really, really advanced and you want all the features and tool sets and stuff on your smartphone, I would say probably look at LumaFusion if you're on iOS or if you want some more advanced features on Android side of things, then look at PowerDirector. But in saying that, the workflows are totally different. I think the best all rounder right now is Adobe Rush, especially if you're looking for creating content on your smartphone, editing it down easily and being able to export it and repurpose from portrait to square to landscape, there's nothing else that comes close on that. But you are missing some of those more advanced features. So if you're someone who's looking for all of those advanced features and really frame by frame editing and a full suite of really advanced video and audio controls, then maybe look at some of those other options right now. And obviously if you're on Android and you're looking for a solution, then this isn't gonna be a fit for you until they release it. But as someone who does edit in Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut and does use a whole range of apps on my devices, I really think that this is going to take over a lot of that workload, especially replacing a lot of the apps that I've been using for creating videos on the go and creating social media posts and those sorts of things. I really think that this is a game changing app and I'm really excited to see what they bring in in the future. And I think just the fact of how easy it is to be able to transfer your projects from your phone and all the footage and everything from your phone to be able to open that up in Adobe Premiere and have access to all those advanced features is a really, really awesome thing. Now, earlier in the video, I said I would share three tips to help you edit faster in Adobe Rush or in any other video editing app or program as well. So tip number one is to start by editing down your content first. A lot of people will jump in and they'll start doing all the color grades and adding effects and all these sorts of things first, but really you've got to make sure that your content is all there, that it's going to make sense, that you've actually got enough there to tell a story and to be able to produce a video. So start by cutting down your actual content first and start building that story out to make sure that you've got everything before before you get carried away or bogged down in all these fancy effects and color grades and things. Tip number two is to not go overboard with transitions. You'll see a lot of people when they start out editing, they'll be dropping star wipes and all sorts of fancy wipes and slides and things into their edits, which they think looks really, really cool, but is actually really just distracting and annoying for everyone watching. So just stick to basic cuts, even a jump cut or a simple fade, or maybe even a dip to white or a dip to black, but really that should be it, unless you're really advanced or you're using it as a feature of your storytelling to help 
transition someone between one scene and the next. So don't go overboard with your transitions. And tip number three is to play back your video on a couple of different devices before you actually release it and make it public. Now, most content these days are consumed on our mobile devices, our iPads, our phones and things. So you wanna make sure that your video actually looks good on the devices that your audience is going to watch them back on. So what I'd suggest is that you try it on an iPad, on an iPhone, or some sort of smart device, your computer, a, a TV maybe even as well. But just check it on at least a couple of different devices so that you can see what it looks like, see what it sounds like, and obviously make any changes if you're not happy with that result. Now those are just three tips from our full editing guide, the Primal Video Method, which is the most effective and efficient way to edit your videos down without any wasted time or rework. There's a link on screen to where you can download that free guide now, and I'll see you soon.